ഹരി ഓം ഓം നമോ നാരായണായ എ ഷോർട്ട് ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് അവർ യാത്ര ദയാറ ഗിതാറ ഗംഗോത്രി ട്രക്ക് വി ബിഗൺ ദ ജേണി ഫ്രം ആശ്രം ഓൺ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഓഫ് ജൂലൈ ട്രാവലിംഗ് അറൗണ്ട് ഫോർട്ടി കിലോമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഗംഗോത്രി റോഡ് വി റീച്ച്ഡ് ദ വില്ലേജ് ബാർസു വിച്ച് ഈസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വില്ലേജ് ആൻഡ് റൂട്ട് ആഫ്റ്റർ റീച്ചിങ് ബാർസു വി ഹാഡ് അവർ ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ഫുഡ് ദർ and then we met one of our best friend who was uh the village chief in his uh, place we rested for some time and after that everyone started climbing from there and went inland for about 4 and 1/2 kilometers reaching a place called barnala barnala is a setup of uh, cow sheds uh it is made of grass Uh, as we know the village t- type uh, type of cow sheds which is used to protect and look after the cows on the 3rd of july we reached a place called vasugi nag a lake it is believed to be the birth place of vasuki according to the village people there is a lake called bamada and a temple on its banks a beautiful place uh, surrounded by trees creepers no it's like a uh, uh, a a lake on the top of a mountain with the trees and all those so we did the uh, puja there performing vasuki puja japa and chanting there uh we sat for some time we meditated some time because that place was highly energized highly spiritual after that we started our journey it was raining since morning it was raining so in the rain we walked up hills after climbing again through the grasslands we reached the, the famous place called dayara bugia so it is world famous it is a large area with no trees uh, only grass green grasses there are no trees no bushes nothing so you can see hundreds of different kinds of flowers and when we are there we feel like we lifted into sky no it's like a, a heavenly feeling this bugial has a uh, radius of about 28 to 30 kilometers uh in village language grassland is referred to bugial the bugial means 
grass land plain grass land after walking constantly we reached a place called devakun around 5 pm it was still raining since it was cold and rainy we gathered firewood whatever we could gather and made food in a uh, cow shed and spend the night there itself so this is we can say this place devakund is the last uh, place where we got some shelter like cow shed old cow shed uh, on this way the, that is the last one so where a family live actually they migrate from village to this place for four or five months and then they uh, bring their uh, cows and buffaloes and they uh, you know they take care of them It's because this grassland is very useful for uh, their cows and buffaloes so they live there so in the night we had a uh, meal with uh, the people there and we we were carrying our food items like uh, uh, wheat flour and uh, you know rice and all those so we gave to them and they helped us to prepare and they gave fire and vessels and like that so we prepared a good food and then rested there in the night it was raining uh, so we were all outside in our small tents so rain was really disturbing in the night but even then it was enjoyable next day on the morning of the 4th july we continued our journey and reached a steep uphill climb called dogada from dogada we climbed again uphill through sikari top that sikari top is around uh, 13000 feet above sea level to reach surya top that is uh, again it's more than 14000 feet above sri uh, sea level so there is uh, there is a temple there was a uh, no small uh, worship place of vanadurga so the village uh, devi village deity so we did the uh, puja there uh there uh, we did a small puja and uh, some chanting some veda chanting and uh, shanti patha chanting and all those and then from there after puja we continued our journey uh, since there is no water uphill it was uh, impossible to stay there although we loved to stay there because that place was very nice but uh, it was raining and uh, there was wind and all those so without water and things we cannot stay there so we decided to uh, walk further and we climbed down around uh, 
600 to 700 feet down to reach a, an area with uh, water. See, we arrived at the foothill of Surya Top. So the place is called Pile Town. Pile Town. So the Pile Town is, uh, is a place where we can stay. There is some uh, rocks and uh, no big rocks for protection. And then it's uh, still green land. So there we pitched our tents and prepared food from items we had carried with us as it was raining constantly uh, we rested there so we decided to uh, stay there all day because uh, there was no other uh, way to go further so we rested there the next day after breakfast we went up a difficult climb is called Ujalada. Ujalada. So this, uh, these names were given by villagers uh, for their convenience to identify the place where people can stay, uh, where the some safety things are there, the water and like that. So normally they give a name to that place so they can identify and other uh, truckers and uh, they can go there and stay like that so it is, it, these names are not there in the google map or any map it's all local names so after passing through uh, waterfalls and uh, you know it's a beautiful valley like a wonderland we traveled over the mountain and uh, over the mountain means the top of the mountain. So we were traveling on the top of the mountains and reached a very beautiful and world famous again. That place is called Gidara. So this is this was our uh, uh, destination, uh, the Gidara. So we started. Uh, we passed through Dayara. From there, three days we walked and now we reached Gidara. The Gidara is a cool place and uh, so much wind and like uh, uh, filled with hundreds of uh, different flowers, uh, beautiful flowers. We wonder how uh, God creates such uh, different varieties of flowers and different designs, color, you know, so many varieties. So anyway, uh, when we reached there, uh, actually uh, in the starting, uh, the Gidara around, we could not see because there was fog, uh, uh, rainy fog and all those. We even could not see the 10 meters uh, between us. But uh, we sat there for some time because we want to uh, go around Gidara and uh, just uh, know, see the place. But uh, there was no chance because of this fog. But we sat there and uh, did some chanting and you know, little uh, like you know, what you say, the, some uh, bhajans and like that. So we were passing the time. So uh, after uh, maybe 45 minutes, one hour. Uh, suddenly, the atmosphere changed because normally in the high mountain it happens. The atmosphere suddenly changes. So it changed, and uh, we all the rain, fogs, and everything went. Then it was very clear, so we could see around Vidara. It was beautiful. We took many photos that you can see. Uh, so everybody very happy and they did uh, you know, running and laughing there and then uh, took photos. So we got so much energy after you know, when the rain went away and we could see some clear sky there. 
for some time actually it was really for some time because uh, maybe a one and a half hours later again the rain came uh, again the fog came like that so we enjoyed the place and took photos and videos and all those and far, further from there we went downhill and reached a place called Dokarani because uh, we, we were interested to stay there where there was no uh, place a suitable place for staying so therefore we uh, walked from there as there were no facilities or no water and all those so we could not stay there so anyway uh, we walked uh, continued walking and uh, then we reached a place called Tri Tiryagi Ghat Tiryagi Ghat so it's a river bank uh, you know, there are some good place with uh, uh, drinking water and all those and we reached uh, late night it's like uh, 10 o'clock because we could not find any place in between so we continued walk searching for water and uh, firewood and like that so at last uh, we reached this Turiya Ghat uh, in the night and we cleaned the place for uh, staying and then we got water and like that we prepared some uh, food whatever we got in our bags and we prepared it uh, after uh, food and hot water so we rested for the night uh, still it was uh, slightly you know, raining and the wind was there so we got uh, the, all the tents uh, ten pitched there so we could uh, uh, set up our uh, night stay there the next morning 7th uh, July uh, we set out for a village called Bangoli the name of the village is Bangoli so we reached Bangoli village and uh, maybe around uh, 3 o'clock uh, it was uh, again a steep climb from this place where we stayed from there all day we were climbing at last we reached uh, the village and we had uh, some uh, food there in the village like uh, some hot water or some you know, black tea and all those so the village people were very happy to see uh, swamis there so uh, they offered some uh, food and like that so we had all those and from there we uh, continued and reached Ganganani from Ganganani uh, some of us uh, went to Gangotri and few came back to Uttarakashi. So this was the uh, like you no know, small description of the uh, Yatra or the Yatra. And also I want to share a special thing with you all. That is uh, two dogs who followed us uh, from the village Barso, where we had uh, the lunch on the first day. From there, they followed us all the way till we reached the last village, where we uh, concluded our uh, truck uh, trekking. So there, uh, uh, they came. All these uh, seven days they were with us and they were so nice and uh, you know, uh, the special uh, variety of dogs with that uh, what we call as hunter's dog. Uh, in this uh, area that special variety is called Bhutia. So the Bhutia variety, uh, they are very special, they are special in the sense they are in the forest they have a special you know, behavior and they 
look after the people and uh, the animals and uh, like that and uh, they know the path uh, the right path so they will take us the right path so in many places we have seen that when we go out of the way you know, we sometimes if we go uh, the wrong path uh, then they stop there they don't follow us it means we are going wrong so again when come we come back to the right path they will continue to follow so like that uh, we could see that those dogs uh, they know the path like way anyway uh, they came all the way and though in between there were uh, rivers we crossed the rivers so we helped uh, uh, those dogs to cross because they could not uh, uh, go through waters and cross the water because they they could not do that so we helped them uh, so like that uh, they came with us and uh, although it was raining and they they stayed outside in uh, all rain because we could not keep them inside the tent so somehow they were managing and it was a good feeling that uh, they were uh, having so much uh, affection and they they how the uh, god protected the, the those dogs and we gave some food whatever we could give because uh, we were cooking uh, food so we gave food and they came with us and when we reached the last village uh, we were wondering how they are going to uh, enter the village because normally uh, the outside dogs enters the village the village dogs they uh, object and you know, they make all the problems but uh, fortunately these those dogs they were not very uh, you know angry with these dogs so we also protected the protected them and they somehow after uh, sometimes they received and that's was good and they stayed with us and when we leave when left we left the village there so we made some arrangements and then we left the dogs there at the village so we hope that uh, they will reach uh, their home after some times yeah this is uh, how it happened and uh, it was so nice yeah hari hi om om hari hi narayan